throw, touchdown. This is a brand new program. Ball's on the ground and it's scooped up by ESD. What you're doing is not good enough. We are a brand new school. I don't think there's any better facilities in the country. It feels like a college. So let's go to work! Yeah! Welcome to Walnut Grove. This is our cafeteria, it's super big. Walnut has Pizza Hut, Sonic 2, Jimmy John's, the Iron Skillet. There is a lot of cool things, but I usually bring my lunch from home. Now we're in the library. As you see right here, these are our trophy cases, which are currently empty because we are a brand new school. We don't have much to display. This is actually our broadcast studio here. Live from the Grove, I'm Sharka Call. And I'm Tyler Medeiros. It's easy to get lost. This is engineering. Personally not in robotics, so I couldn't very thoroughly explain anything, but looks cool. One of my friends had to come and charge the solar car because they're going to be using the car for the parade tonight. We are able to get 52 miles an hour on the clock. We have sports, but we also have eSports. What game are you playing right now, currently? I'm playing Valorant right now. Okay, and they did win at state last year. We're gonna go see the arena. Currently being prepped for our pep rally later tonight. We go all out for pep rallies. We have one of the football team captains here with us. Yeah, I'm John Hudson. I'm a junior. Firing for the end zone. He's got Hudson all alone. Grove touchdown. All right now we're at the indoor. I think that's one of the cooler parts. The eyes of like yeah. the wildcat. And then the weight room. It's probably it's one of the cooler parts. I'm Hasten Fansel. I'm Grant Frazier. And this is our weight room. It is insane. Obviously, we have a really nice weight room. It's the top of the line. Everything's the newest, improved stuff. It's kind of like a private school, but it's a public school. It's by far the best weight room I've been in. Our coaches bring a ton of energy into that weight room. It's a really fun environment to be in. They engage us into the weight room. They make us want to be there. The energy flows through you. Does that make sense? Get down! That's what home's coming all about. The people and how they feel. Let's go! We the go! We're up on the promo three. One, two, three. Let's go. One, three, real quick. Give me this. Double, 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 double. Go, 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 double, double. Let's go, go, double. Ball's in the middle. That ball's right there. Double. Yeah, he don't know the play. Walnut Grove opened August 13th. Here we are. Frankie. 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 Oh my God, I thought it was. Oh Guess what? Oh, you thought wrong. This is a brand new program, so we're starting this this program from scratch. Hey, Jax, run it right now. If you run it right, it'll be a touchdown. Right under Davini. Get under. Get under it. Now climb it now. Yes, sir. Uh. Just think of genius. For a first year team, people are going to think we're not going to be as great, but we're not going to be bad. The schedule's really tough, and we're just going to fight through it. It don't matter. It don't matter. Joining the team, I was kind of worried just because I had no clue if we were going to be good because the team is so young, not a lot of seniors, no tradition, nothing really behind it. Make it a program yet, and so I was a little nervous about that, but when I met Coach Allison and found out what he was about, most of that worry went away just because the type of guy he is and the type of leader he is. You ready? Let's have a good day. For me, this was a calling. Love you, man. Proud of you. I just love doing this. I love building a relationship with kids and trying to find ways for them to just give their very best. One, two, three, stick. All right, dang, that's a terrible rack. Good ball. Good ball. Oh, baby! Let's go. Give me some love, man. Coach Allison has that high energy. It's all positive energy, too. He's not down on people. So, like, people then find somebody to block, go hard. Yeah, I wasn't going 100%. Just go hard. If you screw up, those, if you screw up full speed, I won't ever yell at you. You got it? How did you go? Pass me out full speed. I'll go out and block him. Yeah. Like, baby. Have a good day. I love Coach Allison. Uh, he brings a lot of like joy and energy with just like how it beat he is. Tight, 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 tight. There you go. Good. Had him, baby. Had him, boy. Bring him back. Let's go. Do it again. Let's go, do it again, let's go! And to have the opportunity to open a high school 
in the greatest school district in the state of Texas and to start from ground zero. And this is a dream. This is a dream come true. We get to set the culture here. You know, it's on us to set the culture. What, what do we want our program to be? I do believe we're building something special. Just keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. Please, just trust in our process. Trust what we're trying to do, okay? We're ready. We talked about winning the game. I mean, right first words out of my mouth Monday morning was, let's win this ball game, okay? So you're prepared. You know what we're going to do. Let's just make it happen. Y'all good? Y'all good? Love you guys so much. I mean, I mean that. I love you. Love what I do. Love where I'm at. You guys are awesome. Okay? He's on. Private school is going to say bye bye. I promise. We're just going to beat them. Beat them bad. That's how it's going to be. We're going to send our fans home early. No cap. Pack the buses early. That's right. We're going to win. You know, being a special week with forthcoming, you don't have a homecoming, it's your first year, so we're gonna look forward and we're gonna have a forthcoming. We had a potluck at the park right outside our beautiful stadium. We getting ready for tomorrow, look at that. A little sandwich, this taco, a pizza. It's a pretty good season for my first year. Just all of us knew. I think we've really bonded together. Talk to the mic. What are you gonna do? Yeah, five sacks. Five sacks. Five sacks. One strip sack. One strip sack. Touchdown. Touchdown. Those are the little things that we have to be intentional doing to build the team, to build the camaraderie that we need as we build this new school. Bro, you know, it's Coach birthday. It's Coach birthday. Man, I'm gonna give him a hug. You wanna give him a hug? I don't even know how old he is, honestly. He's like 50, 51. 51. Yeah. Coach Allison, come here, man. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for your birthday? Go to Lupe Tortilla. There you go, Lupe Tortilla. That's so stuck. That's so stuck. Because he lost pickleball earlier. Match point. Game. Have fun asking coach. He has to give Coach Allison an exaggerated age, so it's 65. Kind of joke around with him a lot and have fun with him. Oh, th this is my guess for your age. Th this is. Is this how old you are? 60. I'm I am 60 not. 60. 60. <laughs> <laughs> so. I feel like he would take it as like a joke. Is this a real deal? Yeah, we're this 65. This is not a real deal. <laughs> so I'm not too scared about it, but like it has a little bit of like. Ugh. You were turning 65, right? I am turning 65. <laughs> Thank you. Just for you. Thanks for loving me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. They're awesome. The fact that they make fun of an old man on his birthday, but cared enough to do something like that. I'm so thankful. Happy birthday, dear Coach Allison. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Our forthcoming parade was bigger than most people's city Christmas parade. WG. Prosper, they shut down the whole city and the whole community goes out there just to support all the athletes and students that are going through the parade. And we're going through the parade and all the people that show up to support this community and these kids and support the band, the drill team, the cheerleaders, all the different things that we have here. It's pretty fantastic. Yeah. And then go from there into a pep rally. <laughs> Pretty neat, man. You don't get that every day. It is forthcoming here on a flawless night. We also had our forthcoming court announced at the pep rally and game. So congratulations to our FOCO court. The Walnut Grove Wildcats in action. They come into play tonight at one in five. We're a lot better than a one in five team. For a first year team, we came in the season knowing it was gonna be rough. We're a good team. There's just some teams that are better than us because they've just been here for long. We did a lot better than a lot of people thought. That first game, we played Malvern, the defending state champions of Arkansas. We went in there, we beat them. After that game, I definitely gained a lot of confidence in winning the next four. Unfortunately, that's just not how the cards uh, rolled out, but at the same time, we were competitive in almost every one of those games. Hey, even if you may not be designed to get the ball, do your job to open it up. 
This is Texas. There's a scoreboard, and there's a winner, there's a loser, and we definitely want to win. Let's go, let's go ball out, guys. Let's go. So, I'm hoping to go out there and win. I, I really think we can. I think we'll absolutely go out there and win. All right, boys, listen. We're going to win a game. This is the only time this school will ever have a forthcoming game out there. Well, what are you willing to do to win the game? Ten years from now, when you're sitting wherever you're at, how do you want to be remembered? Because you're going to be remembered by tonight. Whatever it takes for you to think of to bring your very best, do it tonight. Do it because you love each other. Do it because the guy right beside you. Do it for these 12 seniors that we got. Some of these guys you played with last year at Prosper, at Rock Hill, guess where they're going to be? Up there. They're going to be up there watching you. Make them jealous. Make them regret not being here with you. You understand that? Yes, sir. You guys got it in you. You do. Let's bring it. From the very first snap, bring it. Everybody look me in the eyes. Listen to me. I want to see your eyes. Listen to me. I love you guys. There's nowhere else I want to be. I love you guys. Let's make it happen tonight. You good? Yes, sir. Here we go. Hard work pays off. Hard work pays off! There's just something about Friday nights and when the lights come on, people want to come watch. Kids want to be a part of. Yeah! Let's go to work! Yeah! Let's the gas off! Yeah! Let's go to Yeah! Let's the board game! Yeah! Oh, let's go to work! Yeah! Let's go! There's nothing like it. The second and final home game of the season for the Walnut Grove Wildcats is underway. Tonight we play ESD. It's the first team we're really playing that isn't a number one in 5A, number two in 5A. Right. Got some running room if he wants it. Instead, he'll loft it into the end zone for the touchdown. With 10 one to go in the first, ESD strikes first. It's the first team I really feel confident that we should just crush him. Wide open, there's Watkins. Watkins to the 20, to the 15. It's first and goal to the Grove. Hey, smash it. Go fast. Smash it. Direct handoff to Kuhn. That's a Grove touchdown. Good job, guys. Butler, fake pass, left side. Watkins, touchdown. Getting out into space, it's Josh Logan. Touchdown, ESD. We all keep our heads up. We don't try to turn on each other. Picked off. Jackson Lawrence in the sophomore. <laughs> Let's go. Right, let's go. Go play. I got to call play. Let's go. Lunges for the end zone. Is he in? You betcha. That's a grove touchdown. Airing it out inside the five. What are we doing, guys? Gierke looks left, pumps, throws to the goal line. Touchdown, Siler Cook. And so we go to the halftime break. Tied at 21. What you're doing is not good enough. It's not. Look, we're having a hard time on the back end, so we've got to fix it on the front end. We need more pressure. Simple as that. Yeah, our defense needs to work, but I think we still love each other. We're all teammates, and we know it's our first year. I want the guys in this room to finish the game. I want to win with these guys. Do your job, it'll be zero. Good? Yes, okay, Davini, break us out. Hey, hold on three. One, two, three. Hunt! Butler stops, throws back. Wide open! Stewart, touchdown! Well, what a way to start the second half. I know the comments are going to say it. we're not really an athletic looking group of guys, but it's just the heart we have. Fourth down and short, straight drop, flushed, in trouble, firing for the end zone, that's a Grove touchdown! We know who we are, like every player knows what we can do and what we can achieve. Third down and long, the first play of the fourth. Fires near side, looking for Krasniki. Oh, that's a interception at the goal line. ESD that comes away with it to try to stay alive in this ball game. Keep playing, man. I told you. Keep playing. Get it. Fourth down and ten. Big play. Gurky retreats, fires up for grabs over the middle. The pass is caught for a touchdown. No! Your buddy never caught it. The ball came out, but Chipman had crossed the goal line, and I don't understand how that ball got to him. Butler takes the snap, surveys, steps up, throws for the end zone. The pass is caught by Hudson. It's a touchdown! Let's go! 
We score a lot, but we sometimes have a problem starting our defense up. You're the better team. Finish this out. It's our turn to win a game. They've been carrying us all year. Return the favor tonight. Finish it out. You're good. Sir. I love y'all. Finish the game. Gurky. Pressure gets picked up. Airing it out. Near side. Pass. Caught for a touchdown. DBs. Like, at some point, y'all got to earn your check. Right? Like, we're protecting you. Stay on top. They ain't going to beat us with a three yard out. Gurky spins the ball. Steps up. Pass. Caught after the bobble for a touchdown. The FOCO crowd has piled in wanting to see this program get its first ever home win. And it is 86 yards away from it. Hey, you got everything you want right here. Hey, we got this. Let's go. This is where you have the opportunity to prove yourself that even as a young program, as a young team, this is the chance to prove that in the biggest moments, you can make the plays that you need to make. We might be down by like a touchdown or two, and you don't see kids folding on each other. They just try to stay together, and we try to work to make each other better. When we play, we play for the guy next to us, lining up next to us, and we we put it all on the line on a Friday night for that guy next to us. So, under two minutes left. Very late mesh. Balls on the ground, and it's scooped up by ESD. A hard-fought battle won by ESD, 49-40. to 40. This one hurts. Uh, we're going to get to the point where we're above this, right? Our program will, where we'll play guys like that, and we'll do what we should do and get after them pretty good. I think we all still believe we can win out the rest of the season and still be a really competitive team. I, I want to sit here and say, guys, that it's because we're a new program and we're young. But I'll be straight with you, that's an excuse. We are better than that. We're better than that. I still love you, but we're better than tonight. There isn't really a good excuse. I mean, we should be able to go out there and execute and win games, but it's not always going to happen. I hurt for you. I do. I hurt for you because this is one that we should get after pretty good. Let's learn from it, right? I want to be able to look back here in a couple years and like this be a defining moment for this program. So I've had to accept it this year, but I just know like we got to keep getting better and next year it'll definitely pay off. I love you guys, I do. I love you guys, this one hurts. I've seen the kids that are coming up. I know this school is gonna be good in a couple of years, so I think they have a really good chance at winning state champ at least in the next 10 years. Sun's gonna come up tomorrow, all right? Love you guys, on your feet, let's go. It's something I'm definitely gonna to have to tell my kids and to tell people when they hear about this elite program down in Prosper, just, yeah, I, I opened up that school. I was, a, I was one of the guys that started it. Here we go, hard work pays off, hard work! Pays off. Love you guys. Hey, I appreciate you watching that video, but before you dip, do me a little favor. Go hit the OT shop and check out some of the new drops. They're all bangers. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite, but I promise it'll be worth it when you do.